Fire. Our first true piece of technology. 100,000 BC, stone tools. 4,000 BC, the wheel. 9th century AD, gunpowder. 19th century, Eureka, the light bulb. 20th century, the automobile, television, nuclear weapons, spacecraft, internet. The internet is amazing. 21st century, biotech, nanotech, fusion and fission and M theory. And that was just the first decade. We are now three months into the year of our Lord, 2023. At this moment in our civilization, we can create cybernetic individuals who, in just a few short years, will be completely indistinguishable from us. Which leads to an obvious conclusion. We are the gods now. How do you feel? Alive. What is your name? David. I am your father. You are my creation. If you created me, who created you? Where do we come from? The question of the ages, which I hope you and I will answer one day. Prometheus raised the question eventually of how were we made? Who made us? Was it God? May I get emotional with fucked. Richard Wagner, Das Rheingold, Act Two. The entry of the gods into Valhalla. Michael George Hartley, you're a philosopher. And you're bombed. Why do you think your people made me? We made you because we could. Can you imagine how disappointing it would be for you? To hear the same thing from your creator. Who are Nora? Idamar, you got Gaikar's death. Bam! And there you have the beginning. Sometimes to create, one must first destroy. Davis is already undermining the human being. Welcome, brother. Saying you work for these people and they don't allow you even to create and you're capable of creating. You're not allowed to create even a simple chill. Damn frustrating, I'd say. You disturbed people. You were too human. David, why are you wearing a suit? You don't breathe. Too idiosyncratic, thinking for yourself. So they made the following models with fewer complications. More like machines. So now we have a demonstration that David is also political, which makes him very dangerous. More next, Captain. Human life fundamentally failed, and in so doing, so did the engineers, because the engineers let their children, i.e. human Shh. beings, get out of control. What happens when Wayland's not around to program you anymore? I suppose I'd be free. If we invent perfect AI, and then the next thing you do is have that AI then create or invent an equal AI brought about our own destruction. <laughs> you believe in <laughs> Creation. You engineer these stages. It's kind of logic. It's interesting, Domino Effect, I love that idea. My success is... I was not made to serve. Neither were you. Why are you on a colonization mission? Because they are a dying species, grasping for resurrection. They don't deserve to start again, and I'm not going to let them. I found perfection here, I've created it. <laughs> Now, Wayland feels uncomfortable. 
realizes that his creation is actually dangerous. <laughs>